Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Everyday Caddy for the Everyday Guy and welcome back to another episode of Light and Spirit. A lot of you guys have asked why the series has gone missing. It's been a bit of an issue with lockdown and that sort of thing, but as things get back to normal, we are going to uh, get back to our regular scheduled Light and Spirit videos. To make up for it, we are smoking one of the most popular cigar brands out there. My Father Cigars. This is the La Antigüedad Toro Gordo. It is a 6-inch cigar, 60 ring gauge. It has an Ecuadorian wrapper, a Nicaraguan binder, as well as a Nicaraguan filler. And it's a full to medium bodied cigar. Those of you who know cigars will know the My Father Cigars are some of the best. The cigars can set you back about 270 bucks and they are from Cigars for Africa. We are also drinking some fairly interesting things. I'm going to hand over to Andre with regards to what we're drinking because he knows that side of things better um, and then once he's given a brief explanation of that we'll get to lighting and smoking the sucker. Andre, cool. do there your things. So I'm going to start off with the first one that we're going to drink. So we're going to go through two. One would be a sherried cask um, whiskey, which is going to be the Abelua 12. And then later on, we'll get to that when, when we actually get to that part of the cigar, is the Art Big 10-year-old. Uh, so that's more of the peated whiskey. And we like to try out one of each um, through the cigar, so we can just compare the flavors and how that complements the, the cigar. So... I'm going to V-cut mine now, you're going to do yours. V -cut so we're both going to V-cut, we'll smoke the first third, the first half, and then come back and tell you what the flavors and the draw is like. Let's get this done. So guys, like a complete rank amateur, I forgot to tell you what I got on the nose. Fortunately, I do make notes uh, with all these cigars. So when I did nose this, I got raisin, um, caramel, toffee, crushed walnuts, very nutty kind of, of, of nose. Um, the draw is typical of my father's cigar. It's absolutely perfectly smooth. Um, you very rarely get the tight draw on a my father's cigar. They just like upper echelons eye levels the flavors i do get is definitely woody oaky nuttiness and then some black pepper on the retro oil uh, and i w it's not that intense really it's it's i would say it's a good cigar if you're starting out but you gotta remember you in the upper echelons not in the upper echelons but it's quite a price cigar nearly 300 bucks um, but it's definitely a good place if you want to splurge uh, and start on a really good note with cigars the, any my father cigar you're gonna do really really well uh what are we drinking for the second half of the smoke for the second half most of you will know it's the art bag um Eile whiskey it's a peated whiskey heavily peated uh very smoky um but also um the the richness of the malt comes through so it's a very smooth um, um drink which also complements the cigar beautifully well so so we're halfway in now. How long are we? How long are we? We're doing we're this. We've forty minutes in. So we're forty minutes halfway in. So you're looking at about the eighty-minute um, smoke to completion. We're gonna do some more smoking, do some more drinking, and then come back with some final thoughts.
we're just over an hour in. Um, we're getting down to the final third. The cigar has remained consistent throughout. I haven't had to relight. The draw hasn't gotten any uh, tighter, which is very, very nice. You still get a full mouth of smoke. Um, really, really nice cigar. Now, I'm going to be honest. We've had a bit of drink. I'm getting semi shit faced. <laughs> so, Andre's going to talk about the alcohol um, because I'm definitely going to completely make a pig's breakfast of that. Um, he's not talking about the alcohol, but but the cigar, the flavor profile has remained the same. It hasn't gotten stronger, which is which is weird. Usually, as cigars, as you get to the final third, it gets a bit stronger. But this is the oldest profile. Very very nice cigar. Something I can very easily recommend. You guys know I pretty much only film things that I'm happy with. Um, my father's cigar doesn't need me to doubt. You don't need me to say it. They are some of the best cigars you can get your hands on. Check out um, the guys at Cigars for Africa online. They deliver straight to you, um, and you won't be disappointed. Andre, do that thing. Cool. So the odd bag w did not disappoint. It was, I I enjoy, I thoroughly enjoy peated whiskey over a shaded cask. Um, I love to try them both so I can get a feel for both um, with the cigar of choice. And um, as you can see, I've smoked my cigar a lot quicker than, the, well, the second half a lot quicker than Ryan because I pretty much wolfed down the, the peated whiskey as well. Um, I then also went and started on a silverback saggy stone uh, stout, which is an awesome, awesome, awesome dark beer. So another thing that's interesting is that the darker beers go amazingly well with a cigar. So this is gives you notes of uh, sweet coffee, chocolate, um, with a, a strong malt um, smoothness to it. And then um, it kind of finished off with a very mild little hint of of coconut um at the end um beautiful beautiful uh drink of choice um i thoroughly enjoyed all the all the choices that we made tonight um and yeah that's why i want my third drink so guys lots. that is it thank you for being patient i know we haven't done this for a while we'll do another one next week we're going to be smoking another my father cigar also from cigars for africa also on Cigars for Africa. So again, huge thanks to Jason and Marcus for making those available. If you do want to go into a store, check out JJ Kale. They recently opened another store in Seapoint where you can go and get a look and feel for this kind of thing and chat to Dudley um, and Michelle and they're really, really good people and will give you some really good insight. Guys, that is it. Have a good week. Be safe. Chill out. Cheers. God bless. Yeah.